What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, well, look. We've looked at all the red cards, all the blue cards, all the yellow cards, all the green cards, and all the black cards from BT5 Battle of Omega. So if we don't turn around right now and have a little bit of a look at all of the purple cards we've not yet had a chance to look at, I'm going to start feeling a little bit sad. Now, we do have six to get through, but two of them are vanilla, so let's start off having a little bit of a look at the over-the-top adorable Pillowmon. Now, Pillowmon has the exact same stats as a green Digimon we looked at yesterday, which was Floramon, and I feel just as offended by this card as I did by Floramon. Love the design of the Digimon, very, very cute. Love the artwork, very, very cute. Hate the card. Free cost to play normally, zero cost to Digivolve, 4,000 power. Essentially here, it's no cheaper than average, and it is slightly more powerful. 4,000 is slightly high for a level 3. But then, of course, you've got stuff like Volcanic Dramon, which is going to come along and delete Digimon with 4,000 power or less. So... As far as I'm concerned, right, if you're going to be a rookie and you're going to sit there and claim to be more powerful than average, you have got to give me something. And I'm sorry, but if you cannot even survive Volcanic Dramon's skill, you ain't giving me nothing. I'm giving this card between one and two Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't see any build that is really going to want to play this. We've got good black level freeze. This ain't one of them, ladies and gentlemen. This is not one of them. So let's move on very, very quickly and have a look instead at a little bit of the old Troop Mom. Now, Troop Mom here comes in as a level four. Four cost to play normally, two cost to Digivol, 3,000 power. So fine stats-wise, but honestly, 3,000 power is what we expect from a level three, not a level four. I mean, it's less than we just saw on Pillowmon, which is about the only time I'm ever going to say something nice about Pillowmon. But we do have a skill here, so maybe the skill can save it. On deletion, you may play one troop mon from your hand without paying its memory cost. Yeah, okay, call them in. This is nice. This is a really nice card. Now, I don't know how this fits into black decks, because black decks have already got other things and other deletion and all of that good stuff. But I'll tell you something for nothing. If you can draw into your troop mon, it's brilliant. Because essentially, right, you pay four cost to play one or two cost to Digivolve. But then when it goes down, you play another. And then when it goes down, you play another. You've got to draw into them, which is not always the easiest thing to do. But if you can draw into them, essentially what you can end up doing here is paying four memory and getting four Digimon out. Which makes it essentially a one cost to cast. And obviously, I mean, what you could do here is, you know, play one and then leave it sitting out there. And then when you draw the next one, attack the stack. If you get deleted, play a new one and then keep going. The problem is you've then essentially got four memory just sitting out there. You've paid four memory to play Troop Mom and yet you're not actually getting any benefit from it until you draw into the next one, which you might not. That's my biggest issue with Troop Mom. I love the skill. I think it's really fun. I think there's an awful lot of potential. But I also look at this and I go, well, hang on a second. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to play this. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw into the rest of them. And I don't like it unless you're playing them for free. But Digimon's not a game with lots of search. So I don't know how often I am actually going to be able to draw into this. So that I can play a new one for free. And you are playing it from your hand. You're not playing it from your trash. And of course there's plenty of black cards that trash your cards. And plenty that play from the trash. But if you trash a troop mon then that's a little bit sad. So I'm giving it between three and four wassies. I do think there is a lot of potential here. I do think this is one we can have an awful lot of fun with. But I worry if you don't draw into them at the right time. It's going to end up being a moot point anyway. Sorry ladies and gentlemen. Now, Musiamon. Ah, my translation. My pronunciation of these are still not amazing. We've got a level 4 here. 4 cost to play normally. 2 cost to Digivolve. 4,000 power. Which, honestly, very, very standard for a level 4. It is fine. It's alright. It's okay. 
it could be worse. But we do have a skill here. It's jamming. I'm cool with that. Like, it, it's not amazing. I don't look at this and start going, yes, God, yes, this is amazing. I love this. Get this card in my hand right now. Let's go make a deck based around it. But I do look at it and go, look, I'm a level four, right? So I want to attack the stack, but I'd quite like to survive. I've got jamming. I will survive when I attack the stack. Life is good. And obviously here, it's not perfect. You've still got 4,000 power. So you're going to be resting or suspended on your opponent's turn. And that means that they are going to be able to delete you fairly easily. All of that is fine. Doesn't mean I don't like it, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't mean I don't like it. Of course, it's actually a card we've seen before. It's just taken purple a long time to get there. We've seen this exact card as Tyrannomon. Four cost play normally, two cost to digivolve, 4,000 power jamming. We've seen it as Fridgemon. We've seen it as Sisamon. And we've seen it as Ogamon. Weirdly, we've seen Greymon here, which is a similar card, but instead of having jamming itself, it's got an inheritable skill that gives one of your Digimon jamming. So we've not explicitly seen it on black though not a million miles away and these cards have seen a little bit of play here and there but let's say they've not set the format on fire because honestly a lot of the time what you really want to do here is you want to digivolve up to get to your bigger digimon and the worry with these is even though i can attack the stack and survive i got 4,000 power so my opponent can delete me with a pretty weak digimon on their turn and then I've lost a level 4, which could have gone into a 5 and then a 6. Which is, you put it this way, right? I've been playing an awful lot of green and I've not been putting Ogremon in my deck. I've been playing a bunch of red Omnimon and I've not been playing Tyrannomon in my deck. And I've been playing a bunch of blue Omnimon and I've not played Fridgemon in my deck. I've played it in my deck here and there, don't get me wrong. It's not that it's never hit my deck. It's that I always end up wanting to just digivolve through it. And any time I do leave it on the field, my opponent goes, oh, that's quite easily KO'd. And then they go and KO it. Fun little card, but I'm going to have to go ahead and give it free wassies. It's fine, but it's not a card which I think is going to set the world on fire. But it's still a nice card, and it's one of those cards, it probably won't make its way into every purple deck out there. But there are probably going to be some builds that really want to play around with this. Now, Vajramon here comes in as another vanilla card, but there are things to like. Seven cost to play normally is about right for a level five, but two cost to digivolve evolve is lower than we would expect, and 8,000 power is higher than the average for a level five. And essentially, that's where we are. This is where we are in terms of level fives. We are cheap. And we are powerful. We are cheaper than average to play. And we are more powerful than average. When I've talked about this in a bunch of videos, right? When we're talking about level 5, 7,000 power is basically the, the cutoff, right? 7,000 power is where we look at it and go, this is average. So when we hit 8,000 power, I should be able to delete resting level 5s. And I should be able to attack the stack and only be deleted by level 6s and level 7s. Which is nice, right? And in that regard, I'm kind of into it, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. I am very much kind of into it. Now, one thing we must bear in mind here, we have kind of seen this card before. Now, it's a red card, but Lava Garitamon, 7 cost to play normally, 2 cost to digivolve, 8,000 power, level 5. It's basically the same thing. Or Piximon over in green. 7 cost play normally, 2 cost to digivolve, 8,000 power, level 5. It's actually in the same set here. So these, these cards are fine. But again, I don't know how much I love them. Like, I can look at Loda Leomon and go, okay, fine, it, it's not that cheap. It's kind of standard. But it's got 10,000 power. I am really good against anything but level 6s. And honestly even against a couple of those. But here, I just don't trust it, basically. 
Like, 8,000 power is high, but is it really high to the stage of load? A Liam on where I feel really good about it. I will say it is cheaper to Digivolve than average, and that does give you a reason to play it. But do you trust 8,000 power enough to give up a potential level 6 next turn? I'm not sure that I do. Cool card, cheap to play normally, quite powerful, don't fully trust it. Between 3 and 4 Wossies, we don't give half Wossies, that would be barbaric. I think it's going to see some play, but I do not think it's going to pop up in every deck everywhere. So there we go. And that means that there is just one single Digimon in the entire set. There's a few option cards. We'll get to them in a future video. But there is only one single Digimon in the entire set we've not yet had a talk about. So let's finish off with Jokemon. And this is making me excited because Persona 5 Strikers should be arriving today. And I am psyched about that game. What we've got is a 7 cost to play normally, 3 cost to Digivolve, 7,000 power, which is absolutely standard for a level 5. And we've got a skill. On deletion, you may play one level 3 purple Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Any on-play effects on Digimon played with this effect do not activate. Oh. Cool. You see... This isn't new. Like I said earlier, there are plenty of purple cards that will trash your cards. And there are plenty that will play from your trash. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I will say that if you want a level 5, which is going to play them on deletion, this is your one. Any level 3 from your trash when you get deleted. The thing is, I could Digivolve this into Metal Garurumon, and then I could get a level 3 every time I attack. Which one could argue is better. Or I could Digivolve into Mastermon, and then I have to trash one security from each player from the top, so you've got to be really careful that's not going to come back to bite you. But then I get to play a level 4 or below, and I get to play a purple or yellow. Now, the reason this is relevant is because that would totally let you play Loose Mom. And when you get to the stage where you can start playing Loose Mom, that does make things very, very different. That is a redonkulous card. So, yeah. I like this deletion skill. But I can't help looking at this deletion skill and going, yeah, or can I, I could digivolve into Master Mom? And don't get me wrong, it, it's nice as an insurance policy. It's nice because if your opponent deletes it before you can get up to a level 6, essentially think of it like a consolation. Ah oh man, I was going to Digimon into Mastermon. At least I get a free level 3 Digimon. It could be worse. But honestly, there are level 6s that do what this does. And frankly, do do it better. Anubismon, when you Digivolve into it, lets you play a level 3 Digimon card from your trash without paying its cost. But it also has Rush, as do any of your Digimon that are then played from the trash. So I'd much rather Digivolve it into Anubismon. So I suppose what I'm saying here is, it is a nice skill, but make no mistake about it, we are talking about a consolation prize. We are talking about something that is going to come in when things go wrong. I think the idea of actually playing this to try and use a deletion skill is not one that I'm in favour of. Unless you really cannot draw into your level 6s. I've given you three level 6s you could digivolve in and get the same skill while keeping your level 6 Digimon on the field. It's not particularly cheap, it's not particularly powerful, and frankly, there are other level 5s. I'm giving it free Wossies, it's a decent enough card, but I do think the skill on this is, like I said, a consolation prize. A, your opponent deleted you when you didn't think they were going to be able to. What you really want to do is try and keep this on the field and Digivolve into one of these level 6s, because when the level 6 hits the field, things get way way better so there we go ladies and gentlemen that is all of the new digimon from bt5 we will have to deal with the option cards a little bit later but that is now every single digimon from the set that we have had a little bit of a look at and i for one i'm gonna be honest with you i'm a little bit i'm a little bit proud of myself i'm, I'm all right saying that out loud
But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. Mood by far, the most important thing as always. Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.